Okay, I'm going to attempt to plug in the power supply connector here, see what happens. Plug it in. Now I've got, just plugging this in, without this hooked up to my motherboard, logic board, I've got 5 and 12 volts and 5 volts here at the SATA connector. And if I go through and look what's at this connector here, all the voltages are present. This is one, this is a 612009. I'm going to go ahead and put this on the tripod, so hang on a second. Need a better tripod. Okay, on this connector over here, I've got 3 volts, 3.3 volts, 5 ground, 12 ground, 3.3 ground, 5, 12, and 12. A gray and a white, a white and a gray. It's a 14 pin connector. Okay, the way this works on here is these all ones on this side are always on. The run ones can be turned on and off by one of these pins. And I'll show you just in a minute. Um, these are the colors blue, brown, black on my connector over here. These are the symbols over here. This is PP3V3 run. This is PP3V3 all. So the 3 volts ones on here for low 3.3 volt ones, this is always on. These, this bank on this side can be switched on these five. You've got a bot power good connector. This is an LCD PWN that can turn the backlight on. And I'm not sure what this is yet. Maybe somebody can help. INV, CPU, HI. And this is the system power up buffer. And this is the pin that I've used to toggle this bank off. Now, since mine is not plugged into the motherboard over here, I will go through and attempt to give a little bit of a demonstration here of what I'm talking about. And I'll put this over here just as sort of a sort of a reference. I'm going to go through and take and connect, put a pin in here where ground is, and I can go through and take an oscilloscope over here. Ground this, turn my scope on. I can go through and probe all. All these have DC voltages except these four, which are kind of just kind of close to ground or at ground. I've got a scope over here that I can go through the pins. That's 3 volts, ground, 5, 12, 12, ground, ground, ground. It could, that's a white control pin, power good, that's just slightly off of ground. The other bank, that's 3.3, that's 5. I got the ground, of course. There's 12. I was just probing through the pin over here on this. Now if I go through and take and tie on this connector here, the LCD PWM, which is floating low, and tie it to 3.3 volts through a resistor so that it's not too exciting. I'll back this off here. 
if I go ahead and take my connector and connect from this blue in the corner which is 3.3 volts let me use the one that's always on I'm going to tie it to this gray in the corner when I do that with a little resistor over here I tied one of the logic highs 3.3 through a resistor this is about three or four hundred ohms 330 ohms I tied this gray high when that does it turns the backlight on over here you can see these lights are lit so if I go through and take my connector here and turn it off undo the resistor it goes off plug it back in it goes on I'll move the gizmo over here so I got a little bit better view here I am it's off on so this LCD PWM at least for a DC voltage here tying it to 3 volts turns the backlight on and the PWN maybe it's pulse width modulate this may be maybe this is run with a duty cycle adjust the brightness is what I think is going on I'm not gonna go into that too much but over here you can see the screen does have some it's on here and this is probably full bright I would suspect and here's the uh, that's driven through the LCD inverter deal over here and it's another thing here I discovered is you can go through and take this connector called gray if I go through the, the connectors here real quick let me just show you the voltage with a voltmeter just a little bit better See if I can pull that over a little bit more. Zoom back out. I'm going to connect this to a ground. Just want to show you before this other test the 3.3, 3.4. There's the other pin, 3.4. There's a ground. There's a 5, 12, 12. And this gray pin over here, it's a few millivolts. The white pin is ground. This gray one that I was pulling up here is grounded, which is the backlight. This pin here, the power good. It's about a quarter of a volt, a couple tenths of a volt. You got the ground. But anyways, on this other side of the connector here, you've got the run. Right now that's on. And uh, that connects up to... The run is actually connected up to the SATA connector here, which hooks up to the HDA. So right now these LEDs are on because this side is on, which is all the power values that have the word run in it. Run, 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 run. And that's on this one side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and shut that run off by going ahead and pulling one of the pins high. And I just found this by being kind of playing around. I'm going to go ahead and take the system power up one here and take a resistor over here and pull this. Should we blow this whole thing up? This gray pin here, I'm going to pull this to 3.3 volts. Okay, when I did that, I'm taking this pin here, 
pin 12. I kind of deduced that off, made that up. It may not be the same as somebody else's schematic because I really don't have one. Uh, but I labeled them 1, 2, 3, 4. This is pin 12. I took the gray pin, which is system power up, I believe, L buffered, pulled this to 3.3 volts, and when I did, this whole bank shut off. If I go over here and look at You need a better tripod. Here the SATA drive is off. Now remember I've got this unplugged from the motherboard, logic board. So I'm just trying to figure out this is dead. I first assumed this power supply was dead. I assumed that the logic board was dead. I mean just you know it's common failure modes. And by playing with this I think both my power supplies are good. By power supply I mean the 12 volt one and what you call here the LCD inverter which is really putting out the 5 and 3 volts. This guy here is only putting 12 volts so this thing is actually generating the voltages for the backlight which may be, I'm not sure what they are, it might be 24 volts, who knows. Um, I think it's fairly a little bit higher than that. But this is also putting out the 3 volts and the 5 volts. And you can see the 5 volts is gone on here. And if I go over here and measure this connector, on here, I take the voltmeter here and just see if we've got anything. I'm going to go ahead and put this paper clip in the black pin here. You can see I'm violating about every rule here. I got no static strip. It's very humid here, so that's black. Let's see if we can get the display to read. And I'm going to go look at the 3.3 volts. There it is, about a tenth. That's probably noise. Five volts. It's about a tenth of a volt. And this 12 volts here, which is this purple, 